United going into that game tonight after that 6-1 against Spurs. We needed a reaction from United. We needed a reaction from Solskjaer. And let's be honest, looking at that starting eleven, that was the complete opposite of a reaction. We had no Donny van der Beek. We had no Pogba. You looked at the team there and you were thinking, what the fuck is Ole trying to do? But we've just gone and beaten Newcastle 4-1. Over the grand scheme of the 90 minutes, United had the quality, especially in that last 30 minutes where we came through and the players, they really stood up, they showed their quality and at, at, at a time where we needed them to really step up, they stepped up. Look, we went 1-0 down early on there with Luke Shaw own goal. It was a freak goal. I don't really think David De Gea is at blame too much for the positioning. For the goal, I don't think Luke Shaw was too much at blame for that either. And then Harry Maguire came up with the equaliser. And at a time where I personally thought that Harry Maguire should have been dropped, so many of us thought that Harry Maguire should have been dropped. He wasn't dropped by Solskjaer. He kept his composure and he scored a header. And let's be honest, he's missed about 10 headers that were easier than that header that he scored tonight. It's a fair play to him for scoring that. And then Bruno Fernandes had a wonderful goal that was ruled out for offside. And then you're thinking, oh, things are going against us. And then he goes and misses a penalty. And you think, things are definitely going against us. But United, in that second half, when we brought Pogba on, when we brought Van der Beek on, United, funny enough, when you bring the players with real quality on the pitch, the quality starts to show in the football that you play. And United started to really dominate, but dominate with quality because we had Dan James on for the first 60, 70 minutes of that game. And it was probably one of the better games that he's played in a long time for United. But the fact of the matter is, his decision making and his final product just isn't good enough. And therefore, we didn't have that final threat right at the end. But United had it in the last 30 minutes of the game. We had 2-1, a wonderful counter-attack that Bruno Fernandes finished. A peach of a finish right into the top corner. And then wan is smashing one into the top bins before Rashford makes it 4-1. At a time where United were under intense scrutiny, intense pressure for Solskjaer with his job after a 6-1 against Spurs, after a shit summer transfer window, that game there was massively necessary for United. Massively necessary for Solskjaer. And hopefully that 4-1 can lead into a bit of momentum because fuck me, we need it. In a few days we play PSG. And then I don't know what the order of the games are off the top of my head, but I know we've got Chelsea. I know we've got Leipzig. I know we've got Arsenal. Coming up in the next couple of weeks. So Solskjaer really needs his players to step up. And look, look we've seen it at times this season. Let's be honest, right? Because I've sat there today. I've had a feast of football all day long. It started with Everton and Liverpool. I'm watching there, it ended 2-2, but watching both Everton and Liverpool play football, the tempo of their play, the style of play, the speed of their play, more importantly, it's just exciting to watch. And then you lead from that. I watched a bit of Chelsea Southampton. Chelsea can't defend for Toffee, but they can certainly attack. And then I watched a bit of Inter AC. And then I watched a bit of Man City and Arsenal. And then I watched United and Newcastle. And Newcastle, despite having a 1-0 lead from the second minute, decided to sit in their own box for the full 90 minutes. A complete lack of quality apart from Saint... I can't remember his name. Saint Maximilian? Him. Noodle, noodle hair. I'm going to call him Noodle. Right. He was quality. <laughs> he really was quality. But by comparison, United, just watching us uh, through the transitions, watching us come from defence to midfield to attack it... it it's quite painful to watch. It really genuinely is. So to see us turn that into a 4-1 victory, you know, you've got to take, you have to take a real positive from that. Because I, at certain points in that game, especially after that penalty miss from Bruno, a man who hasn't missed a penalty for United prior to that, I was thinking it was just going to turn into one of those games. One of those games for United where even though we had the better of Newcastle, we were ultimately going to be frustrated with a draw and it was going to just crank up the pressure on Solskjaer because the pressure's really on him now. I've said it in my previous video that I did on the Glazers, on the summer, on everything that's happened at United and it pisses me off that Solskjaer is being put in this situation because he should have been backed with Sancho. He should have been backed with a new centre-back. He should have been backed 
with a new defensive midfielder to match the spending that our rivals have done around us to try and pressure for that top two finish in the Premier League. But we haven't had that. So therefore, Solskjaer and United have got to deal with what we've got. And then you look at that starting 11 and you're thinking, why the fuck is Van der Beek not in the team? Maybe why is Matic not in the team to give us a bit more solidity? You know, there was a lot of questions about the starting 11, but we've just won 4-1. We've got PSG now in a few days. Maybe the players there, therefore, have had a little bit of a rest ahead of that game because it's going to be ahead of a step up in quality. PSG likely are going to pump us. But let's be honest, we said that before we went to PSG away with a 2-0 deficit and we went through in the Champions League. So let's see what happens next. But today was a game where United just needed a result. In the grand scheme of things, today was all about the result, not the performance. Largely, the performance was poor. But in the moments of real quality in that last 30 minutes, when we brought Van der Beek on, we brought Pogba on, United stepped it up, Newcastle couldn't cope, and we scored the goals when we had the chances. We'd be clinical when we needed to be, and that's all you can ask for at a time like this. Fair play to Harry Maguire for scoring that goal at a time of intense scrutiny and pressure for him on an individual basis. Well done to Harry. Well done to Bruno for getting that goal, and Rashford, and Wan-Bissaka, man. <laughs> What a great first goal that was for United. Let me know what your reaction is to that. Before one to Newcastle, you can't be negative after that. It was a negative starting 11, in my own opinion. I was proven wrong. We won 4-1. It's PSG next. Not looking forward to that. But let's see what happens. Who was your man in the match? What's your overall feelings about United after that game? Let me know in the comments below, as always.